it's Don the Auction Professor. Today I wanted to show you something neat. This is one of the hauls. This is something that you're probably not going to run into very often. I've had a couple similar items to this, but I do go to oddball outsourcing areas, um, and I do have contacts that collect and, and sell military. What I have here today is something you'll probably not see in real life very often. This is actually a MiG, Russian MiG fighter pilot's helmet. This is the full setup works. You can see the, the actual pilot's um, information written right here in Russian on this. Um, it's the real deal. Um, it's got a little uh, of the padding coming off, but this is what happens to something of this age. Um, it's all there. It's got the mouthpiece, um, the ear protectors, the hose, the whole work. This would hook into a suit. Um, again, these people are going like Mach 3, Mach 4 in one of these. Um, it's got the leather face piece cover, the visor. Um, everything is adjustable. Everything still seems to work. All of this snaps off and is, re is uh, movable. Um, rather interesting. Um, visor goes up too. There's actually release levers over here on the side. Um, but this is just something that you're going to run into if you do the kind of things that I do. Again, a MiG fighter pilot from the 70s or 80s. Um, this is the real deal. This is really what you would find on a, a MiG fighter pilot. You can look up the uh, MiG fighter pilot on Google and you will see this exact same helmet. Um, into this, what I have is about 40 bucks total. I traded a, a something, and then the rest was um, cash-wise. So all together, I got about 40 bucks into this. Now, don't think this is a huge, big money maker. They're not going to sell for a ton of money, these helmets, but this is still worth 150 bucks on any good day of the week, maybe even 200 in winter season um, towards Christmas. But again, stuff like this does show up. It's not an oddball item. I do see, you know, fighter pilot helmets and, and uh, even U.S. ones. The Russian one, you know, really stuck out for me. I figured I could get it cheaper than I could a U.S. And they still sell for in the same ballpark range depending on the era. And this is a key, good example on a um, Cold War era uh, helmet. Again, MiG fighter pilot helmet. It's got all the Russian markings on it. Um, it's got everything it should have in it. Um, you're going to see some of the, the padding in here crumbling. Don't worry about that. That's typical what happens. I don't repair them. They sit the way they are. This is a used piece. This is a real piece. It actually flew on a MiG fighter jet. Um, it's got markings on it. It's got you know wear, wear uh, marks on it. It's got a name in it. It's got uh, the proofing marks from the Russian government. Um, it's the real deal. You know, I have no question about it whatsoever. And again, things like this show up if you know where to look. You know, this is something I look for outside of the box. There's plenty of places these show up. Military shows, for one. Sometimes you can get lucky at, like, gun shows or knife shows, and they'll have military items set up there as well. Or flea markets, antique fairs, and things like that. These show up. Again, you're not going to find this specific kind of item just anywhere. But if you know where to look, and you hunt around, you can find them. I've had three uh, similar versions to this, as I've said. I've had some U.S. ones. I've had some World War II ones. I've got a bunch of helmets that we uh, buy and sell and stuff like that, too. So military items can sell. This is an oddball one. This is one that most people will be shocked to, that you could find them for that cheap. But again, they don't sell for a ton of money. Some of the better ones with everything on it, all the little hook statues, you know, packs, and maybe even the backpack with it, you might get four or 500 for. Um, and things along this line I also see like ejector seats with a parachute um, and things like that you can still find steering pieces wing pieces propellers anything from aviation flight that's military or otherwise if it's old enough it doesn't even have to be military to be worth money but we sell all of this stuff um, that's what I have for you today just a quick holler out for an item that I thought was pretty interesting that you might enjoy seeing if you like the video please hit the like button below you can also hit the bell icon up top to be notified when we post new videos or go live please subscribe and tell a friend.